But it is what it is, but it is YouTube. You know what it is. It's your boy, the Moose. Moose one. Let's kick it. Oops, I did it again. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyways, uh, I got another video for you all today. Uh, this one's going to be important. Uh, uh, these glasses are going to go away soon. Uh, they're reading glasses. Unfortunately, that's all they had. So I had to get what I could um, at it on the fly because I broke my glasses. So um, I could see. Um, anyways, well, see writing and stuff like that. But um we're going to get into this video. Um, let me know down in the comment below if you have a website, because that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about Van Zoogle. What the hell is Van Zoogle? Well, let's get into it. Van Zoogle. Oh, this is Van Zoogle, guys. And as you can see, it's for the band. Now, I like this because it has onboard SEO. It has everything you need. It has um, SEO. It also has um, this little button over here, which is secure, meaning your side is secure. Um, once you get your site built, I'm going to show you my site in a minute, but you could do a lot of things with this, with this, um, the, the features. Let's get into the features here. Okay. This all in one website platform for musicians. This is for DJs and whatever have you. Um, and you could do different ideas. Um, it has all kinds of, uh, you could choose from dozens of, uh, uh, mobile ready templates for musicians. It customizes layouts, fonts, and colors uh, without coding. And it's easy to create a professional electronic press kit and share with media and industry. And we're going to get into that one too. Um, this is examples. Okay, so um, here's a couple examples that they got going on with themselves. Um, under pussy, okay. I never seen that. Alrighty, I never thought of that. Uh, my love. Uh, uh, the actress, dear band. Taylor and uh, Austin die. And just the love goes on. And you can design a study and And basically. Um, to get started. It's pretty much simple. It's drag and drop. Um, here's the pricing. This is this you can't beat this pricing anywhere. Um, on the you could do a 30-day free trial, and then after that, you could do uh $12 a month, $16 a month is what I got as a pro, and then you can do the this other one, or this other one is uh eight dollars and twenty-nine cents. It's the light. Um, I recommend if you're going to do this, it's $20 a month pro annually, and it has everything that you uh, would want to put on there. You can do all the themes, custom designs, custom fonts, uh, video headers, selling tools, commission fees, uh, uh, crowning, crown, uh, crowdfunding, subscriptions, sell music downloads sell merch, sell tickets, sell videos, tip jar, print on demand merch, all this stuff you could do with the $16 a month. And you get unlimited fan subscriptions, SEO tools, which is, this is a big one right here. If, if you don't know anything about this right here, 
SEO tools. This right here puts you on the internet like big time. So, um, and you can get it for the with the basic, the basic one too. So, SEO tools is a must have. Now, I have somebody working on my SEO also um, on the on the back end of my site to try to get me to push out further on the internet because I I don't, I don't know if I'm being seen or not. Well, Google says I am, but um, the click rates and everything else, um, as long as people be able to find me from San Antonio, um, I'm good to go, uh, or Houston. Uh, that's my whole idea. Believe it or not, I get a lot of uh, jobs in Katy and San Antonio. Not so much here lately. I've been getting the jobs in Georgetown, uh, Round Rock, Pflugerville, and Austin. So I pretty much don't have to stop at Bucky's to come home, which is kind of what I wanted to do. Okay, so that's that. But here's my website. All right, let this reset. I'm going to let it go through, and I'm going to talk about this. This is the video that I have on my, this is the older one. I'm going to fix this up. Actually, I'm going to post the newer one. Uh, this is the older one. As you can see, everything's uh, old. But um, this is, uh, it doesn't have the music or lyrics or anything. So you're, you're safe with that. And like I said, that's my old logo. Um, here's that. My first wedding ever on YouTube. That, that's my first, this is my school. This is actually the very, very first school I did ever. This is, um, I took over the DJ spot there at a corporate event. And this is my uh, my 60 year old brother. He's a pretty cool guy. Um, it's not really my brother, but, and this is Big Bob. Um, and then as you can see, this is all old. And then let's get into the photos page. I'll show you the photo page. It's very easy to uh, to maneuver and navigate. As you can see, I got my Facebook, I got my Instagram, and I got my YouTube page. Let's, let's go there. Uh, here's my Facebook. This is my Facebook. Show you my Instagram. Takes you right to Instagram. Drops you off. There's my Instagram. It's restricted to 18 years old. Y'all know that Instagram does that stuff, man. I had to do it because I don't want nothing but nobody under 18. I don't know why, but and then there's my YouTube channel. And then uh as you can see here, here's my photos of all my events. I'm going to get into this. Uh, this one right here uh, is the Turn 2 Entertainment Presents. This guy called me on the fly. His name is Shannon McGuire. He called me and asked me to do this event for him. And basically, I introduced all these comics and when I did, I played their theme songs. It was pretty cool. Vanilla Parsley was pretty cool. These two guys right here. Uh, and then... And then this, this right here, this next over here towards the right, these two events were a family... Uh, a family reunion, and then down here, Big Bob. Everybody all know Big Bob. If you don't, I'll tell you a story one day for y'all um, about Big Bob. And then there's my, this is one of my events with my old system. As you can see, I, like I said, my old system. I didn't know much about DJ, and then because uh, I didn't know I didn't know YouTube existed. Well, I did know YouTube existed. I just didn't know DJs were on it. And this is my very first school right here. Oh, wow. My very first school. 
this is my very first uh, event. As you can see, I had the old speakers with the old setup, and um, they weren't high in the air because they're only three foot tall. But these speaker stands were made for me. Um, my buddy made them for me. Uh, so this this was an old event, and I have the old uh, lights there. And then this is a reunion that I did. This was my very, this was the club um, that I belong to. Uh, we did a New Year's Eve party. And uh, we what we did was we took that tape and we put some rope on that tape. And what I was going to do is I was going to take that piece of rope on that tape and drop the, the balloons down at New Year's Eve and have a balloon drop, which actually worked pretty well. Now, this guy right here, this is my very first, this is my very, 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 very first DJ job. Um, that's my first DJ controller. As you can tell, uh, none of these wires were mine. None of them were. This all belonged to the club that was there. All you do is plug and play. And as you can see, I didn't have a laptop at the time. If you look in the middle of the device, you'll see something sticking up. And that was my USB cord, my USB. This actually ran on USB. It was a CDJ uh, by Gemini. Uh, basically, you could run the, oh, man, this thing rocked. I, I did really good. And as you can see, my phone is right there. Um, that's how I uh, access to, to uh, music on the fly. Um, this is an older setup of mine, uh, clean. As you can see, I got my microphone uh, stand and everything else. Uh, and I put the, uh, the, the lights on top of the speaker stands, which I found at the time was working real good for me. But I didn't like the way it leaned to the side, so I stopped doing that. Um, and I actually got the movers on its own system. Now, I'm thinking about putting the movers upside down on this system. Um, I really don't know yet. Um, they're standing tall on top, um, which is okay. But I like the fact that they um, got the dance floor a lot more. It's my old setup because it still had my old... Uh, my old stuff going, which is improvements. And here's another setup that I had. And if you look at that, that was the setup where I put the movers on itself um, on two different stands. And then those are my old Geminis. And this is the service that I provide, Dancing on the Cloud, which I will be getting into here because I have a Dancing on the Cloud coming up. Um, I'm going to bring out the machine and show you how to use it. And then... Oh, there's me and my helper. Let's go back up here. Is me and my helper in our old hats. We got new hats now uh, with our logos on it, which actually I had made. This is all my old logo. It basically has everything that we do. I like this old logo, but I changed it. So um, change with times. And there's a bunch of other stuff there. Oh, here's my old system, y'all. Here is my old system. It's Epson. I did pretty good with this controller now. This controller sucked ass, but it basically um, is a four-channel controller, and I could do a lot with it. 
Oh yeah, there's an orange wire there. Oh yeah, my wires ain't bandaged. Oh yeah. But if you look at the speakers, this is so unmanageable. This was a wedding that I did. So unmanageable, so unprofessional. But I didn't know nothing about this stuff. Um, the wire, a lot more wires being hidden by the DJ controller. Here's another setup of, of my system. As you can see, it has my old lights. These lights got down, man. They got down hardcore with it. And this is the, the judgment contest I did. This is the very first one. You could see a piece of my facade. Hold on. You could see a piece of my DJ facade. It was puppies and hearts. My wife sewed it for me. It was my very first DJ facade. As you can see right here, it was red. And then I have my puppies on the front to cover all the wires underneath and hide, hide the stuff underneath the table. It was my very first DJ facade. I didn't know much about this stuff, like I said. And then, and then down here, it just I could uh, go into uh, who I am. Now, this feature right here, you keep seeing it, but I haven't clicked on it. But you could actually click on this. I don't know if you can hear this, but. What are you waiting for? Anyways, so that's this page. And then the next page I got is videos of past events. And look at this. When you get into this page, you could actually see that I have the guy that sang the song for me on YouTube. You can download the song too. Now, I have something special that I want to announce. I will be having a rap song made with my name with my name in it. So um, yes, and I even have the lyric. Here's the lyrics to the song, y'all. It likes to run, it likes to jump. No one could ever stop a big, small, a big or small party. It will be there no matter when and where. Hook. A moose on the loose, a moose on the loose, I'll be partying all night long. A moose on the loose, a moose on the loose, what are you waiting That's for? Cute. Anyways. So anyway, I put his information on Fervor there. If y'all want to go at two and check him out, um, I recommend you use him if you want a, if you want a song done. Just a song with for the piano, and as you can see, here's my uh, here's my gig logs. Um, they're older ones. Um, I have more gigs coming up here that I'm going to replace these with. These are old, and then because I just took everything, I took everything and transferred it from my old website. And then this is how to contact me, and this, as you can see, goes through Gig Salad. Um, basically what will happen is if somebody does a request here, it automatically goes to gig salad, which is really nice. Cause then I don't have to, I don't have to pay. And as you can see, I go to bark too. Um, I really don't like bark, but, um, I've been a member from gig salad, uh, courtesy of my friend, double D, uh, he's a member of gig salad too. And I, I thought I'd try the. The, the paid so I got the most I got the biggest package they have uh, for three months can't beat it I don't have to pay for leads uh, the only time I pay for leads is uh, I don't pay for them. I don't uh, if I do book uh, 
95% of the time I don't book through gig salad. So uh, I book on my own on the, on the side, which you can do, which is, which is pretty cool. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much what I got for you today. Uh, tell me what you think about the website. Uh, I'll leave a link below here. Right here. Pretty neat, huh? Anyways, I uh, hope you all like it. Um, like I said, my son got the hat. I got this uh, fixed. The stickers, I want to do a review real quick on the stickers. The stickers work really good. If I were going to keep it there, um, now I want to say that I had to sew it to the back because I know that if I wash the hat or rain gets on it, it's going to come off. But I sewed it down and it's pretty, pretty solid now. But, but anyway, so uh, that's pretty much what I have for you today. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and ring my bell for more notifications for videos like this and the kind of those others. Go ahead and leave comments below. And go ahead and strike that like button if you like the video. And if you don't like the video, go ahead and tell me why in the comments if you're brave enough. And peace out. Oh, YouTube stopped showing on how many dislikes you have because they said it's hate. What kind of stuff is that? I would, I'd rather know how many people hated my video. Because at least I know that somebody's being honest. They don't like my video. So why? Anyways, go ahead and check out this video.